Hello everyone! Today we will be covering how to use the Dynamo palette by placing and editing an out-of-the-box Dynamo object in Formit. Let's begin by selecting the Dynamo palette from the palette toolbar. The icon in the upper right of the window is a hyperlink to open a new Dynamo graph if you'd like to start a new script. This Dynamo instance comes with a starter template that gives you helpful tips. You can also open an existing Dynamo graph by going to the File menu, Open. If we exit the Dynamo graph to get back to Formit from this palette, you will see some built-in Dynamo objects in the Dynamo Samples directory. Let's single-click the Stairs Dynamo sample to bring it into our canvas. As you hover your cursor over the canvas, you'll see the ghosted pre-made stair model. Click once to place it, which will activate the Properties palette with all of the inputs for modifying the stair. You can press the Edit Embedded Graph if you'd like to open the Dynamo for the stair graph and edit it. With the stair group still selected, let's edit the properties inputs. We can turn on and off the top landing, middle landing, and bottom landing. Next, we have a series of dimensions, which are in decimal feet. So let's make a stair now with no middle landing, a floor-to-floor -floor height of 11 feet, and a stair width of 4 feet, with a riser height of 0.583, which is 7 inches, tread length of 1 foot, Tread overlap of 0.0833, which is a 1 inch nosing. Tread thickness of 0.1667, or 2 inches. And we can leave the middle landing since we won't have one. And on the top and bottom landing length, let's change that to 5 feet. Now press the Run button to reload the stair model based on the inputs. We can check True for the middle landing with a middle landing length of 5 feet and press Run to see that update. Once you have run a Dynamo graph for the first time in the format session, a dedicated Dynamo instance is kept alive, so additional runs will be significantly faster in this session. You can edit the stair as many times as needed if the group is not ungrouped. And that's it for Format Dynamo Palette out-of-the-box objects. Be sure to check out more videos on the Format YouTube channel.